months, 115 people died in the CTV building when it collapsed like the poorly designed and structurally inadequate construction it was. A total of 185 people died in the earthquake that hit Christchurch on February 22, 2011, so almost two-thirds of them were in that one building. The Royal Commission explicitly identified flaws in its design and construction. The Commission's report says the building's designer was working beyond his competence and the man he was working for was pushing him beyond his limits. But no one will be prosecuted for the death of the people inside it. Police announced that in Christchurch this afternoon. Detective Superintendent Peter Reid said police did everything they could to achieve a prosecution. The only charge they considered was negligent manslaughter but they couldn't meet the evidential sufficiency needed in the case. Police say they needed to establish that a conviction would be likely if they took a prosecution to court. The evidence is not sufficient to provide a reasonable prospect of conviction. A further legal obstacle was identified by Crown Law. This relates to the length of time between the conduct of certain individuals and the deaths occurring. This is a further barrier to prosecution. We're, we're certainly um, disappointed that we couldn't um, satisf satisfy the needs and wants of the families, but we did everything we could to do that. But ultimately, we have to measure the evidence that we gather against um, the Solicitor General's guidelines. And, and even though, um, if I'd taken my heart's advice, we would have prosecuted. But I can't take my heart's advice. I have to use my head. Detective Superintendent Peter Reid speaking about two hours ago.